Welcome to the Horgasm Podcast, the show where the serial killer isn't coming for you, you're coming for them. I'm Nick, and this is my co-host, Allie. Boo! Thank you for joining us wherever you are. Uh, uh. Uh, we've, uh, this has been a very stupid recording <laughs> week. Um, it's you... like Christmas kicked the snot out of us, and now we're just figuring out how to get back into routine. Hey, that's you, how I feel. Well, you got sick. Yeah. And I was going to try and do it alone, and they are like, no. no. I, I, <laughs> they need, you need both of us. Like, no, you're right. So then we are going to record the other day. I'm working late. And yes. And it was just stupid. And then yeah. also the ghost. Yeah. The ghost. I was going to bring up the ghost because it's like such a new, an exciting thing. It's not exciting for you. Exciting when you told me. <laughs> did you walk outside when it happened? Like, did you tromp around or what did you do? Like, when did they lock the door? No, I... We didn't, yeah, I didn't tell it yet. Um, no, yeah. I, I went upstairs. Tell the story. Okay, tell the so, exact story exactly what happened. So this is, what, four days ago? Yeah. Four or five, yeah, I went and grabbed, grabbed food. Yeah. Went downstairs, ate it. Came upstairs, put the plate away, clean up. And the kitchen door is closed and locked. I'm like, well, that's first. Why is this door locked? This door doesn't lock. And I thought, oh, Alana, she's playing a joke or she's mad at me or something. <laughs> she just thinks she's real fucking funny. <laughs> Fun, Yolanda. And I thought, well, I'll just you know, to take the take the fork and I'll just unlock it. And I'm trying to figure out like, what the heck? So whatever, put this away, go to bed. Next morning, I ask you, so why did you lock the door? I didn't. Does the door lock? I'm like, well, it was locked for me. Yeah. And I went and I tried to accidentally lock it. I couldn't. No. It's you got to push in and twist. And when I had you... my hands full. Yes. I had a plate of food and a. a cup of water and when you were done eating i was like oh okay it was like 11 was i was like oh okay you know i was working so i was like oh man i should go to bed so i closed my laptop and everything and went to bed i didn't even stop in the kitchen so the next morning when you're like did you lock the door i was like the door locks what <laughs> and then i was telling dallin and he was like it's like the door locks we should do that more often <laughs> Oh, but it was crazy. Just so, I, I just didn't get like that's a good joke, you're a ghost. Thanks a lot. Yeah. But how? Yes. How? I, I don't know how I could have. We need Mythbusters. <laughs> we need Ghostbusters. Oh, well, who are you going to call? Ghostbusters. <laughs> <laughs> or or I thought it was Icky. She yeah. Was, you'll pull on a, a, a classic, classic Ichabod prank. That's a thing that she would do. If she had opposable thumbs, she'd be locking us all out of the house. Oh, like, she'd immediately. Be, oh, she'd be a jerk. <laughs> yeah. Be bad. Oh. Yes. She'd just be like, but oh, no, I, I, sorry, Mom. I, I, I cannot reasonably explain how the door got locked. No. I can't. I can't. I, I really can't. Me neither. So, yeah. And then you've been waking up between 3 and 4 every morning. I have every... Almost every day, I've been up around the 3, 3 a.m. Before 3, after 3, I'd wake up, oh, whatever, roll over, back to sleep. Yes. But I remember reading that, that around that time, it's the, not the, not the witching hour, but it's just, um... It's like the, like, where the, isn't it where, like, the, the veil's, like, thinnest or something between worlds? Something like that. Yeah. And it's supposed to be that you're being watched. Someone yes. Someone is, someone is there watching you and you just kind of wake up you know i don't get that feeling i don't right. feel like i'm not alone mm -hmm. i just wake up and i'm kind of oh fuck i'm waiting for my alarm again great right roll over back to sleep yeah um but although when i did get locked out i had a nightmare that night and i haven't had nightmares for a long long time um it, it spooked me i told you my yeah. dream it was some it was, i think it was because it was too real interesting because usually my dreams are out there like Absolutely. they're crazy and I think they're fine. Mm -hmm. Like it doesn't fuck. I wake up like, oh, cool. That was I was being chased by a monster. Cool. That sounds great. But this one woke me up. Crazy. And I was like, whoa. And I, I couldn't. I was so still kind of in it when I was half awake that all the other thoughts kind of kept, you know, yes, coming up, coming up, coming up of like me trying to wake up and say, you know, let's just you know, clear the slate, go back to sleep, and no more bad thoughts. But yeah. they kind of kept coming. Wow. Like, and, and finally, I'm like, I kind of woke up my eyes and uh, just, okay, that's enough of that. Yes. Yeah. And went back to sleep. And 
nothing else. But it was just basically a uh, quick start of the great dream was uh, I was on vacation. I was some Asian country. Sure. And uh, a lot of trees. It was a little village. I was going through a different B&B or something like that. Mm-hmm. Uh, bed and breakfast. And there was this little probably 10-year-old, 11-year-old girl on the bike and a wave, whatever. Looked back ahead of me. And there's this other girl. It kind of looked like her being hung from a tree, from mm-hmm. a rope. And it's a big tree. Like, how she got up there, I have no idea. And in the dream, I'm like, oh, crap. Red one, one, try and go. And she's so high up, I can't really do anything to kind of lift her up and mm-hmm. get the, the weight off her neck. And um, and I'm, I'm trying to help, and her legs start to shake. And then I look up, her eyes open, and they look at me, and they start to bulge and bleed. Ugh. And... That's when I woke up. I'm like, fuck that. Yeah. What the hell was there that? There is no way. <laughs> I think just because it was so, it was, it was real. Right. Like other dreams where I have nightmares. They're more, they can be like I'm being chased by an alien. Sure. Or, or something similar to the, the more uh, fiction. Sure. Something that's more fake. But yeah. I can, I can you know, realize that's fake. But this, you know, it could happen. Mm-hmm. In, in Japan, there's the um, the Suicide Woods. Yes. Where that dumbass guy went and recorded. Ah, <laughs> Jake Paul. Yes. That, <laughs> and, like, there there is an actual, you know, in Japan, there's that forest. Yep. Where people who are so tired with uh, their life and everything go there and they commit suicide. Mm-hmm. Either by hanging or, or whatever means they mm-hmm. want to use. And that's real. That's not right. made up. That's not fake. That's real. That's, yeah. That's terrible, but yeah. Yeah, there's a couple bridges too that like there's no pedestrians allowed on them anymore. I think the one in San Francisco was one of them for a while where they weren't allowing pedestrians because so many people were jumping off the bridges. Oh wow. Yeah. Yeah, it's all over the world. It's bad. There Poor is people. um the one uh CP bridge uh just east of the city. Okay. Uh, a couple of years ago before I started work there. Um, someone committed suicide there, hung himself. Yeah. Terrible. Ugh. Not good. Somebody, we just had somebody last month, somebody jumped off one of the overpasses on Circle Drive. Yes. Um, yeah. One of the guys I work with saw it happen. Like what? I think we should implement that once a day, everybody has to hug somebody else. <laughs> I think hugs would help. I could use the, I could have used the hug today hugs at work. Hugs wouldn't work. Or sorry, hugs wouldn't hurt. Yeah. Hugs wouldn't hurt. Yeah. Um. But. Eh. Yeah. yeah. Poor some people. Bu- some people don't want hugs. Yeah. If so. you're having help, just go talk to somebody. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody's loved. <laughs> yeah. That's that's my PSA for the day. Everybody's <laughs> loved. <laughs> oh, but we have some a fun talking chop. Yeah, yeah we kind of started already. Let's yeah. just kind of keep going with the talking chop. Um, yeah. We well, let's to kind of you know bridge into it. Uh, we watched Eli. Recently, yes, we did. a great movie, and I'm gonna throw a spoiler out right now. Yes, it goes from a ghost movie to demonic possession. Yes, in a very, very well good twist. Yes, yes, and, huge spoilers. Uh, we're gonna spoil the whole movie like accidentally while we're talking chop here. So if you haven't seen it, go see it now, and if not, keep listening. Yeah, if good movie. Already, you should watch it. It is a crazy twist. So yeah. Yeah. If not, keep listening. <laughs> so then, what are some, well, I don't know how many you've seen, but how sure. are some of your more favorite uh, possession slash ghost movies? Possession or ghost movies? I really liked The Conjuring 2. Yeah. Conjuring 2 was one of my favorites. Um, obviously, The Exorcist. How could you not? See, and I don't find that scary. Oh, I that love The Exorcist. That one does not scary. I get grossed out when, well, I used to get grossed out by the pea soup, you know, vomit part, but... Really? When she's, like, shoving a crucifix into her downstairs? That wasn't creepy? Yeah. Ugh. I just... It's always with... It's a a kid's thing. There's a lot worse out there in porn than that. I do not watch that. (laughs) (laughs) I'm not here for that. (laughs) I, um... I think for its time, it was a lot scarier, too, right? Oh, 100%. Yes, that... But... I agree 100%. That, yeah. and that when it first came out, it traumatized people. Absolutely. They were so scared yeah. from that movie. Yeah. Um, I just, I, I, I took me, it took me years to watch it. And when I did, I'm like, eh, 
Yeah. It didn't do it for me. Oh, I loved it. It's but, one of my favorites. But no. For sure. Poltergeist. One and two. See, and I haven't seen them. Oh, those those are good. Yeah. The remake, uh, it's not bad. Okay. But uh, Poltergeist one and two are so good. And um, what are some other good um, demonic possessions? One that reminds me, actually, of Eli is Rosemary's Baby. Yes. Yep. Um, except it would be like Rosemary's Baby in 10 years. Yeah. <laughs> Basically. Because the whole plot of Rosemary's Baby is she's like tricked into having sex with the devil. And then she births the devil's baby. That's what happens when you have sex. Yes. Yeah. And she births the devil's baby, which is basically this movie. Right? Hmm. So um, that, I think, was kind of like this. I also liked The Exorcism of Emily Rose. That was a good one. I haven't one. seen that one yet. It's more it's more the court case of, like, because then they try to charge the priest with murder. Ah. So it's a lot of the court case <clears throat> and not so much of the actual... They try to make it out like it's a scary movie, and it was fine. But um, the real story was way creepier. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but... Uh, what else is there? Um, is that Poltergeist and Conjuring? Paranormal Activity. Yeah. That's that's one of the more well-known ones. Yeah, um, yeah. Yeah, it's more of like the supernatural, demon-y sort of thing. Yeah. Yeah. I, uh, we haven't watched a lot of... There is an old uh, Macaulay Culkin movie. I think it's The Good Son. Okay. I think... Uh, let me think of something else. I, I again haven't seen a movie. That's an old movie I've seen for a long time. Yeah. Uh, but I think he's more of the the devilly possessed kid. Who okay. He's got him, Elijah Woods in it. Oh. Yeah, it's, uh, As a kid. Yeah. Because they'd be about the same age, wouldn't they, they be? Yeah. Young Elijah Wood. Young young Macaulay Culkin. This is like after Home Alone, so he's trying to do a little something other than Home Alone. Right. <laughs> Isn't it interesting that lots of these good demonic possession movies um, are children? Hey? Well, yes. Because I was telling you right before this that um, I was watching, it's called Case 39. It's a 2007 movie, but they didn't release it until 2010. And it's starring like Renee Zellweger and Bradley Cooper. And Bradley Cooper also has done a lot of horror movies for some weird reason. Like his early career really? is heavily horror. Yes. Oh. Yes. And so Renee Zellweger plays um, a social worker and she goes into this home and these people are trying to shove their daughter in an oven. And so she saves this kid and thinks the parents are crazy and ends up foster fostering the, the little girl yeah. and then realizes the girl is a devil. Hmm. And she's actually um, a succubus. Ah. Yeah. So you know, there's so many different... Demons. <laughs> Demons that they don't use. Yeah. Like, succubus is... Huge one. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what are the ones? I think it's a succubus. The ones that uh, seduce men. That's a succubus. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So. yeah. Um, there's the, the incubus. There's they have so many they haven't used. Yes. Um, yeah. But yeah, lots of them are to do with kids. And I was, um, Jess and I were talking about last night, because I was talking about Eli. And um, I was saying how the kids are just creepier. And we've talked about this before. And Dead Meat did a whole two-part podcast on creepy kids. Kids, for some reason, are just creepier because they're, they're like, born pure. Yeah, and innocence to them. Yes, and, and that when they're corrupted, expect. it's so much creepier. Yeah. So I'm really, yeah. And, like, I'm going to see Parasite tonight. I'm so flippin' excited. Ooh. And there's kids in that one, too. Also, we watched a um, trailer for The Turning that comes out this weekend. Yes. And that's with Finn Wolfhard from Stranger Things. And he, like, oh, it's creepy. It's going to be creepy. Yeah. That I'm looks into like, it. And uh, I compared that one to uh, the others with yes. Nicole Kidman. Yeah. It, I could be way off, but it's just got that, it's got that feel. That vibe. That there might be a twist to it. There, no, there's usually kids with those movies. For sure. But, um, yeah, I'm trying to think. What I, now I'm pulling a blank of other good demonic possession type films. Yeah. There's just so many. Um, Possession there's, there's is done. Of, there's a lot of B-movie ones. ones Absolutely. That aren't as mainstream. Sure. Like, there's Rosemary's Baby. There's, um... There's, there's a bunch. There's a bunch. Uh, Damien. Mm-hmm. Yeah, think, you're think, right. Yeah, I think that's what it's called. Yeah. Um, it's... It's a well... It's an old, well-used trope of 
the the spawn of Satan. The son I of was Satan. gonna say, yeah, um, the like, yeah, the children of Satan, and then, yeah. it's interesting though that they have the like, they either have the you're a child or a whatever, yeah, like a child of Satan or you're a demon, right? And but the two play hand in hand, so easily, I guess, they kind do. of. And the one character in Eli, she even comments that like, you know, the devil gets around. <laughs> Like, there's a lot of kids around the same age. <laughs> he wants all those kids. Yeah, he wants his army. He wants his brood, his football team. His... <laughs> <laughs> it's obviously what he's doing it for, right? Of course. <laughs> oh. There's really not... There's not a lot out there besides the same old story. Yes. I, I would love to see a good, fresh take on the Son of Satan. Absolutely. Like, um, ooh, ooh, um, it's not so much horror, but uh, Devil's Advocate. Yeah. Right there. That For sure. That, I think, is one of the most, well, not underwhelming, the one most um, hidden. Underrated. Thank you. That's the word. Underrated thrillers out there. Absolutely. Um, it's got a great, great plot. Mm -hmm. You got Keanu Reeves. Yes. Al Pacino. <laughs> like, right there. Boom. You know, yeah. Cha-ching. Um, oh, speaking of that, of Possession, Constantine. Oh, yes. Oh, my God. That movie spooked me really good. Me, too. When I first saw it. But I love that they, movie. They, they went with the whole jump scares, though, too. Yes. That was, that was yes. not heavy. Right. But I know the beginning when uh, he's trying to get that possessed guy uh, unpossessed and he yes. has a mirror. And it jumps out. Yeah. From the guy's neck. I jumped. Yeah. I'm going to call the crap. Um, I love the... It's got a great story where it's got the, the, the son of Satan mm -hmm. uh, trying to escape. He's got the uh, help of Gabriel. Yeah. Yeah, Gabriel the angel helps because I don't know why. I, <laughs> I forget. It, were we talking about Constantine? Yes. Yes. Um, it's just because she wants to be, she, or they, it's, she's kind of an androgynous. It's played by um, that awesome actress. I forget her name uh, all the time. Not Tilly. Um, I, that's what I was going to say too. Yeah, she, she's uh, the, the source of Supreme in Doctor Strange. Oh, okay. Uh, she, she's a lot. She also plays the witch in Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. <laughs> yes, she does. She was also the Borg Queen. Oh, my in, gosh. Uh, First Contact. Also, uh, Doctor Strange. She was the, like, main head sensei that's a, person. That's what I said. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. Supreme. Yes, yes. Yeah, so good. Oh, yeah. I love her. She's such a good right? actress. Oh. oh, she's good. Oh, um, yeah. 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 Tilda Swinson. Thank you. Came to me. But, yeah, so she plays Gabriel. Basically, Gabriel just wants to be shitty. Yeah, but Constantine, he's like dying, but he can't die until he does enough good deeds to negate his bad deeds so he can go to heaven. Yeah, cause because he, he, I think he tried to commit suicide yes. and or something. Yeah. It did, didn't yeah. work. He got sent back and basically said, you know, next time you die, you're going to hell. Yep. Yeah. And so he's like, well, fuck you. I'll just do good stuff. and <laughs> Do a bunch of good stuff. Exactly. I'll try and help out and buy my way back into heaven. Yes. And oh. it, it's a great movie. I love when... Um, he does. He, he slits his wrist, commits suicide, brings Satan up. Yes. And uh, tells him flat out, where's your son? He's like, well, he's down in hell. <laughs> Is he now? And he kind of points. Yes. He's like, oh. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> well, I'll be dad now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's, oh. it's, it's got a crazy twist. I don't say twist, but it's got a great surprise ending. Um, oh, it's a fun movie. Uh, we what? should add that. It's not really a horror movie. It could kind no. of be. Halfway. It's more like, like an action. We're using everything under the horror umbrella. Absolutely. That includes the comedy horrors. That includes the thrillers. Yeah. Um, this is our fucking podcast. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. I watched this YouTube show about drag queens uh, by drag queens by Trixie and Katya. And their slogan is, their show is literally called, uh, like U-U-N-N-N-N-H-H-H. And it's like, their slogan is, um, it's, um. Welcome to, uh, and then they're like, it's a podcast where we talk about whatever we want because it's our podcast and not yours. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, that's, that's exactly it. <laughs> like, I, I, I now want to re review, um, Dracula Dead and Loving with Leslie Nielsen. Oh, yes. That's such a good movie. Right. Shaun the Dead. Yes. Those are fun. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Ernest, it. Ernest Scared Stupid. <laughs> I would be so happy to do that. And I will explain when we do that episode why it should be considered a horror. I agree. We should add it. We should add all of those that we just talked about. We will. We will. We got I'm going to listen to this tonight when I get home. 
<laughs> and then make a note. <laughs> oh, awesome. Well, should we get into Eli? I think it's time to get into Eli. <laughs> So, this, uh, obviously, like I just said, this movie's called Eli. It was released in 2019, and it was directed by, okay, it's a French name, Sierra and Foy? Sure. Sure, let's do that. <laughs> and Nick, how did you hear about this movie? It was on one of the Netflix's uh, upcoming trailers. Oh, interesting. And, and I saw that, like, Eli, what's this about? So I watched the trailer, and I'm like, ooh. Yeah. Ooh, I like this. It's got, it's a ghosty kind of haunted movie with a boy who's getting his condition trying to get fixed yes and there's ghosts sounds good it looked creepy yeah and then uh, after after it kind of came out i didn't see it right away i kind of waited until now actually right. and um <laughs> he uh a little bit of a huge twist at the end yes like, well how do you how do you make more of a twist of a ghost movie besides he was already a ghost or something so, right i was i i thought it was going to be like a sixth sense thing too yeah i was like uh or, like, I also thought maybe, like, a cloning thing. Like, they don't give a whole bunch away in the in the trailer. No, but they do throw out some of, like, we've had this talk before. Right. We talked actually yesterday about this. They throw out quite a bit in the trailer. Yeah, too much. Uh, but they don't spoil the ending of it. Right. Which, which I like. Yes. Which, like, I heard about this movie from you. You're like, hey, we should watch Eli for the podcast. And I was like, cool. And then, like, I read Bloody Disgusting. And they were like, yeah, uh, this is like, let's talk about the crazy twist ending of Eli. Like, did you agree with it? And I was like, crazy twist ending? What? Because <laughs> then immediately I want to watch it, right? Because yeah. like I said, I'm going to see Parasite tonight. And all I've heard is that you think it's one movie and it's a whole other movie. Cool. And I'm so, I'm so into that at this point. Like, I, I want it so bad. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, I, uh, yeah, it was, I, I, unfortunately with the trailer, I think they gave away one of the scariest parts of the movie, which I know they want to pull people in, but I just, all of the actual scary parts, cause I showed Jessica yesterday. Cause she's like, Oh man, like I'm not really into horror movies. And I was like, well, let's watch the trailer. So we did. And I was like, every jumpy, scary part is in the trailer. Every jump scare. Yeah. That's, that's, that's not untrue. Like the uh, breathy finger thing on the window, the girl running down the hallway. The... They kept some. They kept uh, the the bedroom scene with the, the closet. Oh, yeah. The they knocking kept, it they, over. Yeah, they kept yeah. that. Um, but they show the closet with the lie scribbled on it. Yeah. Yeah. But then also... And then I have a talk with this director. But that's also <laughs> uh, a red herring. Right. Exactly. Which explain later on in the movie that it's not lie. It's something else. Right. Which we're getting into when we go through it. Yeah. Uh, but uh, it, it has enough. The trailer gave a lot of wave, but also didn't give away the, the twist. Right. Which, which was, is, the, thank God. The, play, the payoff. Um, a lot of people went into it, I'm sure, thinking, oh, it's another ghost movie. Cool. It's got a kid in it. Cool. What kind of what condition does he have? You know, what, what's going to happen with ghosts? Yeah. And then it throws a nice curveball, and at the end, you're like, oh. Oh. And then, like, <laughs> I'm still having. Talk with, you know, call, talking to you about um, what about this part? What about that? Yes. Because there's some stuff, you know, during the movie that kind of picked up on. Yes. Like, uh, when you go for a second treatment, the mom and dad are holding hands, you know, being supportive. And as soon as that door closes, hands apart. Yes. Yeah. And I'm thinking, what's going on there? Mm -hmm. When he first goes into the uh, the, the, the house, um, the two nurses that help yes. the, uh, the doctor, they have a very negative attitude towards him. Not and the very... one nurse is speaking Latin. Isn't that Latin? Spanish. Is it? It's I didn't Spanish. think it was Spanish. It was Spanish. Ugh. When it was Spanish, I don't know where the other one was from. Okay. Kind of like German or something. Yeah. Because I was or, like... Or Italian. I, or Italian. Maybe it's Italian. Italian. But I was like, well, that's a weird language to just throw in there. Like, <laughs> But why? just the, the attitude towards Eli was very... Um, confrontational almost. And, and condescending. It was like, yeah. know, I don't know you, I don't like you, yeah. but I'm doing my job. And even when he's talking to them, he's like, well, wh why are you doing this? Why are you taking my picture? Why are you doing that? She's like, what happens to people who ask too many questions? 
And he just looks at her. He's like, they get an answer. <laughs> I was like, that's a good answer. Yeah. Good job, Eli. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but it's, this movie was so good at developing that, like, affinity for the main character, for yeah. Eli. And then, like, feeling bad for him. He's being tested and drilled and poked and prodded. Oh, being like, oh, my God. Yeah. Uh, I feel bad for kids. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, they're like, remember all those feelings you feel? How about this 180? And you're like, yeah. ah! <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was interesting. Let's go to the actress. It's, Let's uh, do it. Yeah. Okay. So Eli is played by Charlie Shotwell. Um, Rose, his mom, is played by Kelly Riley. Yeah, who... she, she's got a bit of a background. She's yeah. on uh, Sherlock Holmes is Mary. And... Yeah. I, she was the only one other than um, Sadie Singh that I recognized. Yeah. And um, so Paul, the dad, is played by Max Martini. Greatest last name in history. <laughs> uh, Dr. Horn is played by Lily Taylor. And, and she's got some... Uh horror yeah. back out quite a bit actually yeah like she was in The Conjuring mm -hmm. and uh what else did I see her in um Leatherface yeah she, she's she's got some horror back out so that's a plus that's awesome yeah and then uh Haley which is like I don't know Eli's little friend on the outside she was played by Sadie Singh who plays um Max in Stranger Things yay hooray um just doing a quick little look at um uh Max Martini He's got some, nothing horror. He was in Saving Private Ryan. Hmm. Uh, he was in uh, Pacific Rim. Uh, Fifty Shades of Grey. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, you poor thing. <laughs> yeah. uh, but, you know what? Um, he's got some, he's got background. He's got some, he knows what he's doing. He's yeah, good. absolutely. And they, everybody did a really good job. So, yeah. I, yeah, I was, I thought the acting in this was phenomenal. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It was really, really good. Um, yeah. So I guess we should get into the movie. I hope so. <laughs> so yeah, we open at um a motel, hotel type thing. Yeah. Well Eli's having a drink, isn't he? Yeah, he we see him running, you yeah, know, he's outside running to his family at a picnic. And all of a sudden he can't breathe and his skin turns red and blotchy and he wakes up. Yes. And he's in his bubble. He's a he's a bubble boy. He's a little bubble boy. <laughs> and uh, I I I can't feel you actually get kind of the uh, instant pity. Yes. You know, this poor kid, you know, he's uh, got all his clothes are vacuum sealed. He's got to yes. like, clean with him wet line. Um, that's how he showers. Like, yes. He wipes himself. It's terrible. And when he is like, mom goes to touch him, she just holds her hand up to the plastic. And it's like, it's yeah. really sad. Yeah. When he has to go outside or anything, like, they're traveling to see a doctor. Yes. And he's going to put on like a hazmat suit yes. on. Yes. He's got a duct tape, everything shut. Mm -hmm. And they're going to go and he's got these jerks out there drinking yeah. and they got this nice little. Those hillbillies. They got a nice puppy who's kind of a mean puppy, but I'm sure he's a good puppy at heart. Yeah. And uh, they're, they, they jerk. They, Assholes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. He stumbles back and he uh, kind of rips his suit and starts, you know, gets all blotchy. Mm -hmm. They tape it up and they got his little kind of breathe in, breathe out. Yeah. Uh, do I blow out the candles? Yeah, blow out the birthday yeah, cake candles. The candles. <laughs> There's a few left. Yeah, make, make a wish. wish. Yeah. Wish and I'm like, okay, I like that. That's yeah. Really cool. And his blotchiness, like, goes away. Yeah, it's, yeah, I should have noticed that right away. Right. That was a very quick. Yeah. Right, and I was like, "Well, does he just have like a type of like rosacea or something like, yeah. like where he just like freaks himself out and then needs to calm himself back down?" Yeah, almost like uh, um, uh, when uh, you can't you can't breathe. You can't, yes. Yeah, I'm sure it's Um, but yeah, so they they go back in the car and uh, the dad he kind of backs up and almost he hits a one hits a guy's chair and they yeah. kind of, oh, they run away. Yeah, you know, like this with the finger. I'm like, oh, boy. <laughs> And then the mom asks you, oh, well. and she asks his mom asks you, what'd you wish for? That I could kick their ass. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, yeah. And the dad goes to pay for the room and he has to put it on like different cards and give them cash because all of his cards are declined. And so we realize that they're going through some financial struggles and they talk about it in the car ride to Dr. Horn where they're going from the motel. And the dad says, you know, like, we're paying a lot of money to do this, you know, and all that kind of stuff. And they're just kind of, so we know that they're literally have no money. Yeah. Like, he spent his last few dollars to pay for that hotel room. Yeah. Yeah, it's a very secluded medical area, too. Yes. Like the house. Yeah, so it's like the middle of nowhere. They go to his house. 
and uh, they get up and they kind of go to the front door, and uh, it's this, um, what do you call it, like a uh, pressure chamber? Yeah, it's yeah, it's like a, a, a like decontamination. That's the word. Yeah. yeah. So he goes in the first door and he kind of gets cleaned out, decontaminated. Yeah. And he goes in, his parents follow, and uh, we meet Dr. Horn and her two assistants. Mm hmm and uh, she seems like she's very, very nice to uh, Eli. Yeah. She's very friendly. And I uh, can explain, you know, this is a safe house. Yeah. Nothing in here can be, nothing can um, activate your your problem. Yeah. And they kind of explain a bit. It's, it's like some uh, genome or yeah, something. Yeah, it's like a yeah, mutated genome yeah. or something. Yeah. And they're going to try and basically take, take a virus and put it into him. Yeah. And risk, you know, eat away mm -hmm. and take away all the faulty genes in them and right. replace them with, with health. Mm -hmm. So he, he goes around, he go, they show him to his room. His parents have a different room and uh, he um, sucks it up. He, or they, t they, uh, they tempt him with a shower. Yes. So yeah, she's like, I bet it's been a while since you've had one of those. So he, he tears off the uh, his suit. His mom kind of helps him. So she, she hasn't, I'm sure, held him. Or, that's hugged exactly forever, it. You know, yeah, without the suit on. Yeah, she says when he takes it off and they do hug. She's like, "It's been so long." Because yeah, like, he wasn't born this way. Like, I don't know what I would do if I couldn't hug my mom. Yeah, yeah like we, for real. We find out that this isn't this is new. It's like what four years he's had this condition. Yes, he looks like what twelve, thirteen. Yeah, yeah. So he he was born without it. And right. Then he got it later it developed on. Developed it. Yeah. So. We see him, you know, he has his shower, he's all happy, he's in bed, he's trying to relax. And, uh, uh, doesn't... This is when he goes to the window the first time and sees the bug. Yes, there's a bug, he's like, you want to come in? And then, uh, he kind of, uh, blows on the, uh, window. Mm hmm And then something else next to it blows and swipes at it. Yes, and these fingerprints swipe through yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Which is in the trailer, which was the first kind of jump scary thing that happened. I was like, aw. And he kind of runs to... Oh, this is when he runs downstairs. No, he goes to his parents' room. Okay. And sleeps with them. Okay. He's, he's a little shocked. Right. He's a little surprised by that. Yeah, I would say. Yeah. I would be. Yeah. And the next day, <laughs> he starts his treatments. Right. Which is spooky. <laughs> like, yeah. Like, it's rough. He basically, he's like, in his pajamas, and they go into this room with the spare, like, a, a coded door. Yeah. And uh, he's like, oh, mom and dad are coming with me. Like, no, we'll be here. You know, well, we were here waiting for you, you know, hoping for the best. Right. And uh, they do one last, you know, blow out the candles. And like, what do you wish for? To be brave. Like, oh, it's a good, yeah. oh, good wish. Oh, shucks. So he goes in. They take him to this treatment room. Yeah. Which basically they just strap him down. Yeah. Um, they do. They take his weights. They uh, put a gown on him and take a picture. Yeah. She, he asks, you know, where are you from? And she's like, like, um good boys you know they, they what happens when bad when boys ask too many questions yes yeah yes and uh she's like they get her answered yeah <laughs> question <laughs> he's all, mark he's all hopeful he's all hopeful i don't blame him well and i think his parents are pretty open with him about obviously his condition and different things like that yeah when when he's talking at the beginning to the uh the, um thorn about thorn dr horn to horn well, thorn. we're talking dr horn kind of she's trying to tell him about it he's like yeah i know and he kind of explained, I have this kind of disease, this condition, yep. blah, blah, blah. Yeah. He's like, well, you're a pretty well-educated boy. I read a lot. Yep. And I'm, cool. Because what else would you do? Well, what? When you're a bubble boy. <laughs> you well, know? The, the best thing is to know all about your condition. Yes. That's one of the best things for him. So they, they throw him on the table. Yeah. And uh, they, they... He's like of, face down with his arms out to his side and his head to the side kind and of. Like, uh, they held his head in place. He strapped yes. down. And uh, basically, they tell, yeah, we're going to put this little just, uh, virus in you. It's going to attack all the bad parts and replace it with good parts, blah, blah, blah. Okay, cool. And it's weird because they lay him down and they, they cut him open. Yeah. And they uh, they tell him to count back from 100. Yeah. And uh, he starts counting 100, 99, 98 as they're digging in with a, a bone bone pick. Yeah. Like he's screwing into his... Yeah. Out of his rib or... or it's like his it side. was like... Yeah, I thought it was like his leg. Like his I, hip, kind of. I thought like... Well, it could be his hip. It looked like more up like to his lower back. Okay. And um, as he's coming down, he see, though, they see his reflection of the 
doctor and nurses in yes. like, the chair. Right. And then he sees this dark figure mm-hmm. coming towards him. And yeah. He's like, 97. No, 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 black. Then he yes. wakes up in bed. And, uh... Ugh. And, yeah, he wakes up, he, everything's normal, whatever. And he can, you can see that what they take out is, like, just chunks of flesh and... Yeah! Yeah, that's, that's a weird they're way They're taking to, chunks out of him. I, I can see they're doing, like, a biopsy to Right, try something like that. Or but, test something, but or... To to, it, it's, it's weird having to be awake. And, yes! Yeah. Like it's, I, don't, I don't know if she has a license to do that work. Yeah, um, and that's when, but that's when you start to sense that something's wrong. Yeah, right. Because I'm always like, as soon as that's happening, I'm like, okay, there's some medical bullshit going on. Yeah, you know, in this big secluded house, like that's why when I started thinking, like, is it cloning? Is it like what is it? Because we don't know anything at this point. Like, you know, are they trying? Like, does he have a special like antigen or something? Like, you know, you're, you're just your mind as a human starts to try to solve it. And that's kind of where I was going was the medical, a medical horror movie. Yeah. <laughs> but. So, so yeah, he goes and kind of does the whole window thing. Yes. And uh, he, he tries to talk to the ghost. He, you know, he puts, you know, my name is Eli, you know, E-L-I. And then um, the other, the, other the, the phantom or ghost breathes and erases the E and puts an E on the other side. So mm-hmm. it says lie. Mm-hmm. He's like, what the heck? And then uh, I think Haley starts, she throws like a rock at the window and kind of snaps him out of it. Yes. And he breaks the window. Like, she cracks the window a few times. <laughs> I'm like, that's not good. Yeah. And uh, he goes down. He kind of explores a bit. He goes and um, finds her. Yes. In his atrium. Yeah. It's just like a, yeah, you're right. Like a sunroom almost. Yeah. Yeah. Because um, obviously he can't still go outside because he's allergic to like, they ask him what he's allergic to and it's like air, dust. Anything. Any, everything. Yeah. Like, it, he's just allergic to it. So this is the kind of the room where he can stand and still get sunlight. Yeah. And that's where, yeah, we meet Haley, which is Sadie Singh. And she's just like, hey, like, you know, this... And then they just kind of have a talk about, like, oh, this place always gives me the creeps. Yeah, he and... tries to show her a magic trick. And she's oh, like, yeah. She, she's, she's kind of a dick. She's got some magic to her. Yeah. And I uh, say, like, well, I'll show you a real magic trick. Yeah. And she has a little piece of wood. I bet I can make this light on fire without touching. He was like, yeah, okay, whatever. And she kind of turned around, you hear like a, a crack, and it's on fire in her hand. Uh-huh. He's like, how do you use it with a match? She's like, how'd you do it? She's like, I don't, I'm not telling my secrets, so I'm not telling my, yeah. my tricks. <laughs> and then uh, he hears something. He's like, stay here. So he goes and investigates, and that's when you get the um, the ghost kind of following him. Yep. Uh, he's got the flashlight. He goes, looks behind, there's a girl, flashlight away. Looks, he's walked away, flashes back, closer, light away, one, one more time back, and she's right on him. Yes. And, uh... Yeah, if you yeah. want to see it, it's in the trailer. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, so the next day he goes for his second treatment. Yes. And this one's a lot more invasive. Like, yes. they shave off a bit of his head, and they drill into his brain, Yes. Into his skull, which is weird and he's starting to get like these big ugly bags under his eyes yeah, like he's, he's starting pale. to look horrible yeah and and he's not the happiest about this no uh his parents are pretty um like they're a little bit skeptical like i think anytime somebody's like yeah. the, doing the invasive is, surgery the, the mom rose is really gung-ho like, yes. she wants her boy fixed yes and the dad is too but he's less he's more concerned Yes. About this yeah, whole thing. Yeah, I agree. And, yeah, so, uh, I'm trying to think what's next. Uh, he gets a little mixed up here. So, he, yeah, so, after a second treatment, he goes and Haley kind of knocks on his window yes. again. Yes, yeah. He goes and sees her. He's like, you look terrible. He's like, I feel worse. And uh, he starts, they kind of talk about the ghosts. Yes. Because he tries to tell that to his parents, too, and they, they kind of laugh him off. Like, you're making it up. Yeah. It's, it's not real. Because he sees something in the shower. Yes. He has a, yeah, he's in the shower, and there's uh, the ghost. He's in the bathroom, and the ghost is in the shower. Yes, yeah. The, the, the shadow. And he pulls the thing back, nothing, puts it back, and it bends up again, and it freaks him out. Mm-hmm. And he's trying to get his parents the attention and tell them about it, but they don't They don't believe him. They think, right. Um, he even tells the doctor. Yeah. And she's like, you know, it's a medication. He sees things. Yes. It, it can happens. even cause, halluc- uh, cause hallucinations. Yes. She's like, you know, some of my other patients, they were, 
you know, experiencing some fatigue and stuff, but nobody ever saw a ghost. Like, you're the yeah. first one that's ever mentioned this. And, and yeah, so he goes and he talks to Haley and uh, mentions this. He's like, well, the boy before said the same thing. Perry, yeah. She's yeah. like, well, Perry saw a ghost. He's like, he said that to you? Like... Oh, yeah. Perry yeah. said he very talked to, about it to the doctor and everything. He's yeah. Like, huh. He's like, wait a second. <laughs> <laughs> she said nobody's done this before. Yeah. So he's in a fighting mood. And is this when he gets attacked by the closet? No, this is when he gets dragged. Oh, he, my God. He, yeah. Uh, he's he, After he talks to her again, he goes yes. to leave. And um, he gets grabbed. Yeah. Which is a cool scene. I like this It one. is. This, I wonder how they did this. I was watching was, this when I was laying in bed, and I was like, how did you think they did this? And probably just wearing green suits. Yeah, I think so, Yeah. Too. And, it, like, it's just so interesting how they did it. Like, where his clothing is, like, moving around. Well, and... There's, there's a, a video, I think it's in Mexico or somewhere, um, about this boy who keeps getting grabbed by sure. this invisible force. And it's a, a TV crew who record this. And it's so cool how... I don't see how they could have faked it. Sure. Because the boy is just leaning there. He's standing there. All of a sudden, his leg gets pulled away from him, and he starts getting dragged away. Oh. Uh, I'll show you after. Um, look it up. All of you guys want to see it? Look it up. Uh, look up. Uh, try on YouTube with the um, boy grabbed by ghosts. Sure. Uh, Mexico. Yeah. And, and it'll come up. It's like news report. And I don't know anything happened about it, but... Weird. It's hard to if it's, it's if it's a news camera. It's hard to fake that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so Eli but, gets so, yeah, dragged. Him. He's trying to get away. He's yeah. Trying to hold on, and they're trying to drag him out the front door. Yes. And uh, he they they get him into the first the elevator. No, no, not that. The, um, or the the um decontamination yes. chamber thing. Yeah. And yeah. he starts cycling, and he's like crap, crap, crap. And before he gets, you know. In, before it opens up, he gets pulled back inside the door, and uh, they're trying to figure out, well, how'd you get out there? And it's like, they grabbed me, they pulled me out. And, again, yeah. no one no believed him. They thought he no. was sleepwalking. Yeah, and Dr. Horn's like, well, oh, he tried to escape, and he's like, it wasn't me! <laughs> like, I was being pulled there and everything. Yeah. And, and so, yeah, so they throw him back in bed, and uh, that's when he yes. gets the, uh, the claws attack. Like, he, he gets, he basically gets chased. Yes. Into the closet. Uh, by this girl who's got these broken fingers, like, their weird angles are black. Yes. And, um, he basically has it in the closet. They kind of bang on it, shake it, tip it over. And he kind of crawls out as everyone comes up. Like, Eli, what happened? You know, what did you do? And he's like, me? <laughs> I didn't do that. And on the front of the, uh, the, the closet. Yes. There's Eli. Lie. Yes. Yeah. Like Eli with an E at the end. And uh, he's trying to go, what the heck? Yeah. And um, so they're going to do the, the, you cut to the dad and the doctor. Yes. Kind of talking about the third part. Yeah. And she's saying how he's not taken to the second uh, treatment. The serum's not working. Mm -hmm. He's, he, his body's fighting it. Yes. And, uh, and they need to jump right to phase yeah, three. Yeah, right to phase three. Yeah, to the final phase, yeah. And, and just get it done. Yeah, and he's kind of, yeah, I think you're right. And yeah. the mom overhears. Yeah. And so she comes and kind of confronts a bit. Yeah. And uh, um, what, what's going on? Yeah. And they kind of lie to her. Oh, we're just trying to talk about uh, how well Eli's doing and all that. Exactly. And uh, we're going to give him this little thing to help him sleep. And we'll go right to phase three. Tomorrow. Yes. And the mom's like, yeah, I'll, I'll do that. I'll, I'll give it to I'll him. I'll give it to him, yeah. And she talks to him, and he kind of tries to confide about the ghosts again. And uh, she kind of, she doesn't, she she believes him to a point, but he thinks, yes. well, I think you're seeing stuff, but it's in your head. Yes, exactly. And some ghosts, and uh, she says, here, take the pill, swallow your glasses of water, mm -hmm. tons of water, show me, opens his mouth, nothing. Good. All right, I'll see you tomorrow. And yeah. he's giving her a hug, and he sees the um, the closet, the door, and upside down. Eli says seven one three. Yeah. And he's like, huh. Mm hmm. What could that mean? Yes. <laughs> and um, so she leaves, and he spits out the uh, the pill. Yes, because it's supposed this pill is supposed to knock him out for the full day until they go to phase three the next day. Yeah. Like he's not supposed to be awake 
no, at all. But he's like, I'm gonna do some investigating. Yeah. But first, doesn't he go and talk to Haley? And he's like, I think that this is like the code. And she's like, oh, like a secret code and everything. Because they talked yes. about this yes. code. Yeah. And yeah, he goes and, uh, yeah, she, he kind of confides, I think the place is haunted. Yes. She's like, really? Well, whatever. And uh, now he also kind of can start to wonder, were they trying to kill me if I stayed outside or trying to get me out of here? Yes. So he's starting to think the ghost trying to help him. Mm -hmm. you know, something's going on here. And uh, she's not so sure. I haven't heard anything happening here, but, you know, what do you think? He's like, well, the, the code ELI, I think, is 713. Yes. So it's a code. It's like, oh, well, we'll see what happens. And um, so he goes and he uses the code, gets into the uh, operating kind of wing of the uh, house. Yeah. And uh, starts looking up the, uh, goes through all the files and finds Perry. Yes. And it shows treatment one. Treatment two, which is just a lot, which is a little more gaunt. Mm -hmm. Treatment three, dead. Yeah, and there's like and a he goes through really at least gruesome four or five, picture. Yeah, he goes through four or five different kids. Yeah, there's there's Perry, there's like Lucian or Lucius, Lucius, and then there's a girl. I forget her name. I forget her name as well, but there's definitely the three, and uh, yeah, there's the three because when we get to the well scene, she sees there's three. Yes, yeah. yes. So he goes through all three of these files and flips through, sees these names. And the phase one, two, and three. And, like, I think, like, the Lucius kid, there's, like, like his, like, chest cavity is missing. And, like, like they're graphic pictures. Oh, yeah. Like, they're, there's good effects. And so he's, like, WTF. And then, so he kind of spazzes. And he knocks something off the desk. He, yeah, he knocks a glass off. Yes, a glass shows. off. Yeah. And uh, the, the one of the nurse nurses comes out. She looks around and sneaks into, like, oh, no. And he goes to find him. And he went and hid somewhere else. Yes. And uh, so he's planning to go and tell mom and dad, get the hell out of here. Yeah. Uh, his dad's already kind of, no, we're, we're sticking through this. Yeah. And yeah, because this is when the mom and the dad have an argument. The mom's like, I am taking him away from yes. here. Because she confronts him and he says, like, it's like, well, what were you and Dr. Horn talking about? Well, he kind of like is sheepish about it, isn't he? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, and she's like, and they're, oh, because he says, you know, there he might not live, isn't that, the, you know, there's always a possibility yes. that he might not live through phase three. And the mom's like, that is not what we talked about. That's you, not what we agreed on. You, you told me that there was 100%, you know, yes, recovery. Like, yes. It, it works. Yeah, and so. so she's like, I am taking my kid and we are getting the hell out of Dodge. Yeah, so and, she's packing yeah. as Eli is ready to, uh, He's trying to, you know, not escape, but he's doing the snoops. Yes. And, uh, yeah, the, the, while they're arguing. Yes. The, the Dr. Horn, she goes and talks to him and tries to get things settled out as the mom's packing. Right. And, uh, they find out that Eli's up and he's snooping around. Yeah. So they're going to chase him. Eli's trying to get away. He does. Yeah. He finds this, um, hidden place downstairs. Yeah, it's like a caged off kind of, so he runs it's down. It's just kind of because he's in the one, I think it's Hor oh, Dr. Dr. Horn's, Horn's room. room. Yeah. And uh, there's this, the little buggy saw earlier, flutter around, goes into the wall. Mm -hmm. And he goes, he kind of pulls on and it's a secret passage. And he also finds a picture of Dr. Horn all dressed up in like be a nun. Yes. That's yeah. right. That's you right. Because his little mosquito friend is like buzzing around and landing on things in the room. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, that's right. So he goes down and uh, snoops around and sees like there's a cross and all that, and um, he uh, he gets trapped down there. Yeah, because yeah, his parents and Doctor Horn are chasing him down there. Yeah, and then so when he's kind of doing the snoops in this little room, there's like a big well sort of in the center, and then a little like a like a I don't know like candles and a cross and yeah. like a. It's a certain cross. It's like three crosses yeah, all connected. Right. And then they run down the stairs and lock him in this little room. Yeah. And then basically the eater, that part isn't as isolated as rest because he starts yes. having a reaction. Right. And uh, they all leave him and he kind of collapses. Yes. And uh, he kind of wakes up yeah. right after. He's like, I can breathe. I'm, I'm cured. This is working. And... Um, yeah, and then he, like, screams up the stairs. He's like, Mom, it's working! It's working! I can breathe! And he's like, wait, I can breathe? Wait, why did you lie to me? And then he's like, immediately goes from super excited that he's not broken to being like, wait a second. Well, he, um, he 
Yeah, he kind of she, she comes down because she feels yes. guilty about bringing him here. Yes, he could. That's his afterwards. And, then yes, she comes down. Yeah, yeah. and uh, he's he pretends he's laying there, and she thinks that he's down again. So she opens the door because he's not answering. Yes, and uh, <laughs> he hits her with the crucifix. Yes, knocks her out and bolts upstairs, and uh, then he goes. He runs to um, the atrium. Yeah, and he's yelling at Haley. You know, I, I need to get out, and he's, he has like a. Uh, Fire extinguisher. He's trying to break the glass to get out. Yes, and his dad is like after him, and Doctor Horn yeah, and the nurse catch, says, yeah. "Yeah." And they catch him, and as he's being dragged away, Haley's yelling at him, saying, "You're stronger than they are. You've got the strength. You've got the power. Yeah, you can use it. Yeah, use it. Yeah, you can get out." And we're like, oh, "Yeah, yeah. wait a second. Yeah. And then Super. we. <laughs> <laughs> you was your egg. <laughs> and then we flash back to mom to Rose and she comes to she wakes the, up. yeah she wakes up and she looks at what um, Eli hit her with and it's like the crucifix and it's kind of moved a little bit or something yeah she pulls so the she, dagger yeah she pulls the top like the small part of the cross and pulls it and it's a dagger yeah and she's like what the heck what the fuck so she like sets it down and goes over to the well and there's this Big, humongous, yeah, it's, it's round little, door thing. It's a little open. <laughs> a little so ajar. Yeah, so she has to, go, she has to push hard because it's yeah. tough. And we see three dead bodies in there. Yes. And she's gagged because it stinks. And yes. And she's like, oh no. Yeah. My boy's next. So yeah. she runs up and they have Eli all lie down like like in a, in a crucifix. His arms yes. are out. And, uh, He's all strapped down and she has the dagger and she runs upstairs and she's like... You know, like, don't you touch him. And she's, like, threatening Dr. Horn. And she's, uh, you know, trying to undo his hand straps. She's like, oh, my God. You know, like, you know, uh, what's it called? Uh, Paul, help me, help me. So she gives the dad, Paul, the dagger. And well, she's he, trying to undo it. And he gives the dagger back to Dr. Horn, Horn and just, like, finish what you started. Yeah. Yeah. So she holds her back. And the... Uh... Yeah, Dr. Horn, she's all set to, you know, free his soul. Yes. You know, forgive me, you know, this is the only way to save your soul, blah, blah, blah. Right. And she's bringing the dagger down, and it stops maybe an inch away from his chest. Yeah. he's just staring at it. And she's in shock. She's like, oh, what's going on? Yeah. And using super devil powers, <laughs> he, he uh, like, makes it go up and stabs herself in the... Kind of like the shoulder the, chest. Yeah, the shoulder blade area. Yeah. It's like, like between the shoulder and the chest. Yeah, just some soft tissue. Yeah. And uh, so she gets knocked down and he starts turning red. Yes. And uh, he like burns his wrist. Yeah, he, like he burns things right off. off. Gets up and the, the women are screaming. They're freaking out. Yeah. They are no, they're in shit. Yeah. And um, he kind of you know, stares at them and they kind of get thrown around a bit. And um, they all get. Uh, he'll stop. He tells them to turn around, and they spin around all you know one by one. Yeah. And um, lifts them up with his you know, powers, I guess. Fancy levitating yeah. powers. And they start spinning. They turn upside down. Yeah, like an square. upside down cross. So we have the inverted cross. Yes. Three going around. And his mom and him are the in this little circle now, this creepy like human circle. Yeah. And, and, and he's, and he's like, "What he am I?" Yeah. His eyes, you know, his irises turn red. Um, and I, I love the scene. I just love this. The, is such a good scene. The look is just awesome. Yes. How the nurses are upside down, arms spread, and they're just screaming. Like yes. Everything. Every time he gets like a wrong answer, he they they get punishment. They get yes, pain. yes. And uh, as he gets more of um, he gets more of the like, story. How how he came to be. They burst into flames. Yes. Which I thought that's. Crazy. I, I was like, oh, that's good. It was really cool. And she's trying to you know, let them go. And he's like, no. Yeah, and he's, but he's like, 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 who am I? She's like, well, you're my son. Well, well, who am I, though? Well, you're my son. Well, who's my father? Well, <laughs> I, she, I prayed a lot, you know. <laughs> I love that. I, and I don't, I get this. She wanted her son so bad. She couldn't yes. with her husband. She prayed to God. God didn't listen. So she tried Satan. Yeah. And he's like, sure, you know what? Sure, I'll lock you up. And don't don't worry. Yeah. He'll have no side he'll, effects. He's fine. He'll be normal. Totally functioning and member of society. And her, her uh, explanation is, 
he lied. Yeah. He always yeah. The lies. The devil always lies. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so. So that's yeah. We find out that Eli is the son of the devil. Yeah. So. And uh, ah. yeah, so. <laughs> so the uh, all the nurses are, well, the nuns, I guess, are burning and dead. Yeah. So he throws them away, and as he's um, as they're kind of having this talk. He's kind of like walking up to his mom, and um, we Paul. see Paul come well, up behind he, he him. Picks up the dagger. Yes. And he goes to finish it. Yes. And he like turns and because the mom kind of gasps and she goes like, "No, <laughs> that's, right, that's right." She she's like, "Paul." Yeah. And uh, yeah, the son turns around. He like turns oh. around and there's Paul. He's like, "What's this? <laughs> I'm not gonna do it." No. And his face gets in. Oh. Not imploded, but it gets... like a ca- like a, a like if you when you crush a, a soda can, it's just like his skull, the front of his skull just gets crushed in, yeah. like just like smushed imploded. by like an invisible I, I, force. I just imploded just because it gets all sucked in, like yeah. it's crushed in. I don't know, ooh, ooh, yeah, ooh, ooh, I like that. And <laughs> so basically, yeah, so they're basically uh, you see Eli then walking, and every step, yes, leaves fire, fire, which was so cool. I like that scene. Yes. And he walks in the house, and it bursts in the flames where he's walked, and um, and there's Haley. Yep. And he's like, "Hey, I see, I see you made it out. Good job." Yeah, good on you. Like, what do you mean? How how do you know? Uh Dad gets around. Yeah. Oh, w- what do you mean? And she's like, "Well, I'm also one of his step kids. Uh, yeah, I'm your stepsister." Yes. Yeah, the other three they could they didn't they couldn't do it. They yeah, they weren't the, strong enough. Yeah, they weren't strong enough to get out. But you, I knew you had it from the beginning. Yeah, and he's like, so the devil would like just let his kids die, and she's like, well, only the strong ones kind of yeah. make it through. And he's like, why didn't you help me? He's like, well, you needed he, to figure it out on your own. He he really prefers if you can do it yourself. Exactly. You don't want to help him out too much. Yeah. And uh, and she kind of offers you want to meet him. Yeah. And he's like, yeah, for sure. Yeah. And then Let's go see dear old dad. Yeah. And then Rose comes out. He's like, um, hi. And, yeah. and she gives Eli, you know, it's cool, it's cool out here. Here, like, here's your, here's your jacket. Yeah. Love you, son. He's like, I love you too, mom. Yeah. And uh, they hop in the car that she was back, which also burst in the flame earlier. Yes. Uh, and so I was literally, I was watching this, and I was like, didn't this car get burst in the flames? Yeah. Like, how? <laughs> yeah. I, I wonder if that was Haley. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, too, is, like, something went on that they could use. Yeah. This is, like, some Christine all over again. Yeah. And, um. <laughs> The uh, yeah, so H- Haley doesn't seem too trusting of Rose, but yeah, she kind of asks, you know, you're like, is Eli. she cool? Is she gonna narc on us? Yeah, and Eli's, and Eli's like, like no, nah, nah. she's good. And I think right then, Rose has like, oh my god, what have I got myself into? Yeah, I've I'm I'm in the shit now. Yes, and uh, he was like, drive. Yeah, and she's like, and, and she's freaking out, and Eli, breathe the can- blow the candles out. Yeah, yes. And she's like, <laughs> Yeah. She's like, What'd you wish for? And I forget her answer. Yeah. <laughs> it was intense, though. Yeah. This yeah. this whole and, and scene was just like, Yeah. And this, like, from like the phase three in quotations exorcism to this drive away part is like 20 minutes. Yeah. Like, this whole movie, you're thinking something medically, like, fucked up is going on. And then this last twenty minutes, it's like devil kids. <laughs> also, like when he, after he kills his dad, yeah, uh, he goes and his mom's got like a cross. Yes, of it. he kind of grabs that and just rips it off and throws it on the ground in front of the uh, the nun. Yeah, and I thought that was a good visual. Yes, and uh, like, I think that was a very powerful scene that yeah. shows that he kind of accepted. Yeah, he's, what he he's, is, he's okay with how how he came to be. He doesn't mind this. Yeah, he doesn't mind a little bit. Because I think also part of it, like, thinking he was so weak for so long, and then being literally the exact opposite, well, they were trying to suppress it. Well, they explained that they uh, all his injections were holy water. Yes, they were holy water and that kind of stuff, just yeah. to try to... Just to basically keep him, keep his powers... Have you seen the Umbrella Academy? No. Well, I can't reference it then. But that's another common theme, is that one of the sisters is... Per, like told that she has no powers her whole life and then when she's in like her 20s it's all of a sudden they purposely suppressed her powers because she was so all-powerful 
that they weren't sure that they could control it. Ah, that sounds very right. Excellent. Right. That's exactly X Men. It's like Jean Grey. Yep. Like you're trying to, you know, suppress your powers so that you don't just like destroy everything. Yeah. Yeah, it's really interesting. Yeah. Yeah, but that was Eli. That was Eli. I, I didn't mind it. it I didn't mind it either. As soon as I was done, it was like midnight, and I texted you, and I know you were very asleep because you were working the next day. I was like, Nick, I just watched Eli, and it was a trip. <laughs> That's what he sent me. Yeah, it was, it was good. I actually really liked it. I did too. I liked that. I think it, it, it was pretty tame, though. I agree. It was yeah. not. It, it could have been a lot more graphic. could have been Absolutely. a lot more scary. Um. Like I said, like the ghost scenes kind of got ruined by the trailer. Yes. Um, and there was there was nothing too terrifying with the ghost. You didn't right. see much. No. Um, it's like one scene where he's looking in like an old room where every all the furniture is covered by like tarps, and where she like is backwards and then kind of like leans up, like. Yeah. And that's I was like, ugh. So are are these <laughs> ghosts the uh like where are the ghosts from? Like, yeah. There's, there's a few questions I, I didn't get, like, I was asking you. Like, are the ghosts, like, the other kids? Must be. They must be, right? They must be, or other servants of Satan. Um, They also kind of mentioned they've tried other places. Yes. You know, like, wouldn't they have realized this kid isn't sick? Yes. There's, there's a few questions that kind of, there's a few plot holes. Yes. And, like, what was the bug? Was the bug another kid? Was the bug a I, dead I, I, kid? Was the bug the devil? I think that the bug was the devil trying to uh, guide him in the right direction. Yeah. Or, or it could have been Haley. Yeah, that's what I mean. Haley. Yeah, there was just... There's, it left a lot of things unanswered, yes. which isn't a bad thing in movies. Right. But with some of these, you know, it would have helped to explain a little bit more. Um, it would have been... Made the ghost a little more, more gruesome. Yes. Or, or make him... Two faced, like have them look, Absolutely. have them like looked Eli, because they would have been more effective if they weren't spooky looking. Yeah, they would have been less scary to him. He would yes. have probably trusted them a little quicker. Right. Uh, but then have like when he turns around, have them have like a very demonic look to him. Yes. Um, Haley has she was I liked the uh, the the character was good. She was a little bit of a guy. Yeah. Um, but you again, it's like you know something's off. Like, hey, where are you from? Oh, just down the road. Yeah. And okay. Yeah, and, and it's also the the parents. They knew about this the whole time. Absolutely. And they're like we talked about we talked about this off off the uh, podcast. Um, they were trying to get him cured. Yes. Apparently, there is maybe a cure. They can try and treat the uh, abnormal devil gene out of him. Right. But apparently, it's so far doesn't work. They've tried before with other kids. Yeah, on those like Perry and Lucius and yeah, that girl, it, like it didn't work. Right, so they had to end up stabbing them so that they could have their soul cleansed. I guess or something. It, yeah, exactly. Um, yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah, I agree. There was a few plot holes, but overall, like it was fun to watch. It was good. It, yeah, I, I liked it. it was Especially good, with the twist the at twist the end. Was a great twist at the end. Yeah, yeah, and so unexpected from what you think that you were getting. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it was good. So, let's, let's, out of uh, how many orgasms would you give this? I'd probably, I don't know, three, three point five, kind of around there. That's that's mine. Too. Yeah, like the music was so good. The um, the practical effects that they used were really good. Yeah. Um, yeah, not a lot of CGI, which I appreciate. Um, I it definitely lost points for putting like the majority of the scary things in the trailer. Yeah, which I always hate. And yeah, just like not being super scary. Yeah, it was a lot. But of it definitely scary. was a thriller. Like oh, I yeah. would absolutely all day classify it as a thriller. And and some people they don't they get scared easier with ghosts or the whole um, demonic you know themes. Right. Uh, I'm sure they would. This is a good tame one for them to watch. Absolutely. It's not as scary or bad as the Exorcist. Yes. Uh, but it's it's a more watered down. Version right of, uh, yeah. of, of uh, Damien yes. or Rosemary's Baby. Yeah, because nothing really like super scary happens until like the last twenty minutes. Like yeah. nothing like devilly. But if you are like, um, if you are sensitive to like religious horror, I would probably not watch it because like if you're like very religious, this is not like there is a lot of devil upside down crosses stuff that might offend some people. I think, but. Um, like if you're not into religious horror, I probably would just steer away. But uh, 
But other than yes that, no. like it's it's not like it's it's overly um, like graphic or right. Uh, it's no, it, it it's up to the viewer if they want to watch. Yeah, absolutely. It's, it's, it's very watered down. Yes, it could have been a lot, lot worse. Absolutely, um, it could have ended in gore or in, that kind of yeah, that kind of stuff. It, it could have been a lot more more uh, violent. Um, like when you have the three nuns spin around. Yes. Uh, that could have went. Yeah, we only get like one body shot of Doctor Horn afterwards with her burning body. Yeah, and it's not even that bad. No. But no. Um, yeah, I think there could have been a lot more gore, especially after coming off of like Apostle. I was like, and Battle Royale. I was like, <laughs> it's a good come down, I guess. <laughs> so, what would you rate it out of five? Three and a half. Yeah, three, three and a half. Yeah, it was. It wasn't terrible. No, uh, not was, at all. It a, yeah, it was a good. I would say it was easy going. Yeah, <laughs> but they didn't. They didn't take too many chances. It was a good plot, a great twist at the end. Yes. Um, uh, I like some of the uh, like the visuals really good. Yes, uh, especially the ending. Um. At the times, I got a little bored with Eli. Uh, just he was being a teenager. Yes, like he's, he's getting so mad they wouldn't leave him, and he smashed the. Uh, uh, yeah, he gets mad at the end. He say, uh, they want him to go to his room. He'll relax. He's no, I won't go in my fucking room. Yeah, and oh yeah. His arm against like a like a mirror, a picture fire alarm. Like, yeah, yeah. And, and he's like, oh, it's, it's bleeding, and he just collapses. I'm like, oh come on. <laughs> Come on, come on, yeah, come on, yeah. come on. Um, and and I don't know. The ghost didn't scare me. The ghost didn't. No. Uh, it was a cool effect when the flashlight was shining back and she was there and it was gone. Yeah, but we've all played that horror game. Yeah, we've all played that game on Steam that that exact situation happens. We've all played it. I've seen it. I've seen it recently. <laughs> like, it's, yeah, it, it's it's. I would like to see the sequel. Yeah, absolutely. And, and that's the thing is, I was like so ready to be like, "All right, we're gonna meet the fucking devil, and it's gonna be so good." And then it's like cut credits, and I was like, "Oh!" Like <laughs> but the, the second movie would be really fun, like road the, trip with two of the devil's kids. Well, not just that, but uh, you could really kick into the whole devil's army. Absolutely. Like, like how many of them are there? Like, like in that tiny little concentrated area, there's all these kids. So you got you got some of the kids. You can see how the how they're trying to cure them. Yes. Well, we have some that already been like on Earth. Who knows how old have they aged? Yes. Uh, we could have end with our older Eli showed up at the end. For uh, sure. Like, you can go so many different directions. You can have yes. a kid. You can have um, you can have a parent. You know, the parents trying to make making a deal with the devil. Right. Um, like there's a lot of things you can do with it going forward. Right. Even going backwards, like to a prequel, but um, they could make it into a big franchise. Yeah. If they do it smart. Yes, exactly. And Real I think that they events. have enough interest um, with this movie that they could absolutely make a sequel or two, and they would have people watch it only for that, um, like the twist to see where it goes. Yeah. Kind of. Hey. Because you'd have to have them. The other side, you gotta have Absolutely. the light side, you know, at least combating or yeah, because they got they got the nuns doing their thing, but that's not apparently not good enough, right? And uh, we we don't know how many are out there. We got Haley, mm -hmm. we got Eli, there's two, like right, yeah, like they got the mom who's basically now their not say slave, but I mean basically, yeah, she's doing it only for Eli. She yes. loves her son. Yeah. She doesn't care where he came from. She's a willing participant yes. in this. She's also, I think she also realized that at the end, she realizes she's in the shit now. Yeah. But. They're either going to get rid of you immediately. Yeah. Or you have to help. You have to be an accomplice. Yeah. There's no and, two ways about it. And she's the, she's doing it for Eli. Absolutely. Yeah. He's going to. Because it is still her son. Yeah. Haley will take advantage of that. Yeah. And uh, I'm sure Eli will do the same thing. Yeah. Agreed. What about Ichabod's Kill the Flick? Well, she wasn't even, she's not here right now while we're recording because she's having a sleepover with her grandma and grandpa. But she told me, we watched this movie together, her and I, and she said definitely the dad getting his face crushed I has agree. to be the Kill of the Flick. As much as I love the three nuns upside down, crossed, on fire. I, yeah, that's the visual. it's quite the visual. The visual is incredible. 
Yes. But just the violent nature of having the dad's face caved in without anything touching him. Yes. I'm like, ooh, that's that takes the cake. That's right? a good one. So. Yeah. Yeah, I, I totally agree with you. As soon as I saw it when I was watching it, I was like, and that's Hill of Light. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's my thought, too. Like, I feel like that one. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And next week, we are watching Audition. It's another J-horror movie. Back to Japan. Woo! Which I, like, totally biased. I love Japanese horror movies. I just, I've already talked about this with Battle Royale, but I just, they are so bizarrely horrifying. I'm no. so ready for it. If they took Elok yeah. and Japanese themes, that would be incredible. Right? Like, that, they would do it, like, oof. They would really make a thing. It would hey? not be watered down. It yes. Would be, it would, they, would, they would go balls to the walls. Horror. Um, the ghosts would be probably a lot more visually scary. Yes. I'm sure the treatments would be a lot worse. Yes. And it'd be more of a very dark, darker mood. Uh, absolutely. Um, and I'm, I'm sure there'd be less... Less... Like the father being so, um, yeah. Less, less heartwarming. Yeah, with absolutely. The father, with the father and mother. Yeah, it'd be more, um, de de not demanding, but um, almost extreme. A, yeah, like in like a partnership more so than a marriage. Yeah, because like Paul was basically like the anti Joseph, <laughs> right? Yeah. Well, he was. He was. I think this is. His it's not idea. really his kid. No, and and that's another thing. Like we've didn't really get to talk about it, but. Uh, like, he's been trying to do this for, I think, the wife. Cause he has Absolutely. A, he has a... Again, this is late in the, in the, the, the podcast. <laughs> Doesn't matter. But he had a very heart-to-heart -heart with his son. Yes. So, you know, I when you say... When your mother says, I love you, and say, I know, I'm jealous. Like, yeah, because how dare you steal that line from Han yeah, Solo, you like asshole. That. But, um... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I can help it. It's true. <laughs> but but he's like, I'm jealous. Yeah. Because I want that love. Yes. But you get it because you're the son. Yeah. And without, you know, you can tell that he, you know, it's not his, but if it was, things would be different. Absolutely. I think, I think yeah, he's, I think in his thought, he wanted to get this kid fixed because then he could have the family he wants. He wanted his wife back. Yes. She was, ever since um, Eli started getting sick and all that, all her attention went from husband to son. Yes. And that took everything. I think that kind of made a little desperate and he wanted things back to normal or at the worst just him and her yeah and try again i agree so yeah a little, little late late part oh, of the podcast oh that's fine but, but, but podcast, yeah it's our okay. pet podcast ever <laughs> <That's right. laughs> but yeah we're doing audition next week yeah so that'll be fun it'll I've be fun to this. jump at yeah and i've yeah. seen parts of it yeah it's um it was it was pretty it's pretty graphic Ooh. it's very it's a gore horror Ooh. like it's a gross out good. Oh, I think you're gonna love it. Awesome. I think you're really gonna love it. I'm excited to share it. <laughs> you know, and I'm not gonna spoil anything yet, but as excited I am for next week, I can't wait for the week after. I'm not saying why. We'll, we'll, we'll I don't even remember. We just talked about it and I already <laughs> forgot. <laughs> Listen. We're, we'll, we'll explain more. Yes. Next uh, for next podcast, but we got something big planned. Yay! In our, in, our, in our next next podcast, so uh, stay tuned. Oh yeah, now I remember. <laughs> oh god! <sighs> okay. Whoa, it's been a it's been a night. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh! But thank you so much, everybody, for joining us. This episode was brought to you by our executive producer Ichabod, who gets thanked even though she's not here. We hope you enjoyed your orgasm as much as we did. Please don't forget to rate, download, and subscribe to us. Also, like and follow us on Facebook at Horgasm Podcast, Instagram at Horgasm, Twitter at Gasm Whore, and YouTube at The Horgasm Podcast. If you have a movie you'd like us to review, this is always the best way to let us know. We hope to see you again next week because we have such sights to show you. <laughs>